All right, here's a uh, mini one-third of my fish room tour. This tank is uh, one of the ones that are pink pingus. I get him in there. You can see the metal head front, uh, the pink in the back of uh, the body, and then like a little hook on the tail, which is a little bit uh, bronze colored. Uh, this tank is a tank of my reds. I have a few tanks of these. I grow these out and then I select the breeders and uh, put them in another tank. So this tank is a jungle of uh, water sprite with the snails I have to get out one of these days. Uh, this is another tank of the reds. That was my finger for a second. Uh, you can see these reds are uh, really an exceptional color on these. Really like these. These uh, I got this original line from Tony Anderson, a friend of mine in Cincinnati who raises some great fish, and he's an all-around pretty good guy. So uh, there's some of those. They're younger. This is a tank of uh, breeder reds. Uh, these males are a little older. I've really I lost the uh, slip I had to said how old they were, so I'm gonna have to guess that they're about nine, ten months old. Uh, the tank has some guppy grass in it, uh, which is working out pretty good because uh, it's hiding some babies that were just born back there. So I got to uh, get them out when I get a chance. Uh, but you can see these have a nice deep red. Uh, there's no problems with the tail, the, the body, or the uh, dorsals. And even the uh, ventral fins are red. Uh, the only place they don't get any red is the very top of their head and bottom of their stomach. So this one has a little bit more than the rest. So something I'm going to work on to try to get more in. And there's another tank of reds. In case you're bored with reds, you got to put up with uh, a couple more. So that's uh, this tank, which also has some guppy grass way back uh, where the filter is, but you can't quite see that. And this is the, uh, the last tank of reds. Also has guppy grass, which you can't see. So that's uh, probably bored with the reds, so I'll move on. Hopefully I can get a pretty good shot here. These are red grass, which I enter. Uh, sorry about the camera shaking. I'm trying to keep my finger out of the way. I enter these at times in the red bicolor class in the IFGA. And uh, they've done pretty well in the shows that I've entered. And here's another tank of the uh, red grass, which also has guppy grass in it, which makes it like grass squared, I guess. Now the females have a nice normal uh, caudal, a little bit of color in them. Uh, this is a tank of my uh, black deltas. And that one's got something going on with the tail. I'm going to have to check him out or get him out of there. Uh, I've entered uh, the females in uh, the black uh, female class and done pretty well with them when I sent them. I uh, kind of ran out of ones to send. Uh, these are starting to get uh, big enough to, to go. So this is another tank of pingus, which unfortunately they're hiding in the top. And here's yet another tank of pingus. It's one of the nicer males. Uh, there's some babies in there. And here's yet another tank of pingus. So, trying to get myself a little bit more organized and have the uh, uh, the fish in close proximity. So there's uh, a couple more tanks that I can show you real quick. This is some red grass. Now I raise these outside. And the interesting thing is uh, the males got like a light blue in them. Let's see if I can straighten out this camera. And the females lost the color in the tail. They just have a uh, light blue, but they've lost the, uh, the black that was in the tail. It's kind of strange. I don't know why. Some real... Uh, Good sized males, they were out uh, swimming in a bucket outside, 10 gallon bucket for about uh, three months. And I just brought them in, uh, I think last Thursday, right before the temperatures really took a dive. So it's in the low 40s at nights here. 
So I'm kind of lucky I got uh, got them in or they to all be goners. Anyway, that's some of the tanks. I uh, hope you enjoyed and I'll try to get the other two thirds of the fish room uh, next time.